Hello friends, this is Meena and you are watching Civil Brew. This is the playlist of VTabs. In the first episode, we have done about the modeling part. From the starting from the very basic how to model this building. And in the second part, we had applied dead loads and live loads in, the, in this building. And also, we had seen the concept behind this as per our standard IS code that is IS 875 part 1 and part 2. So in this video, we'll apply our seismic loads as per the IS1893. Uh, you know, I'll give the link of that particular PDF in the description. You can download this. So uh, now for applying the earthquake load, we'll go to our define. And uh, when you once you go to define, we'll have this particular option of load patterns. So we'll click on this. And first of all, we'll define the seismic loads. Now uh, we have to remember that the seismic load uh, doesn't act vertically like the dead load live load it acts horizontally or laterally so it will act uh, along the x and the as you can see in this particular case x and the y direction the other loads uh, act as the gravity loads it acts from top to bottom it will act like this seismic and wind loads will act laterally s l x uh, and then we'll just uh, define this as seismic multiplier by zero and we'll just choose the code so we'll go ahead and select our is1893 and uh, after that we'll just click on this add new load and after that uh, in the seismic load as well and uh, we'll add sl y y plus the other direction seismic all things will be same and we'll just click on add new load so after that we need to modify this we'll just click on modify lateral load so uh for starting this is the x so we'll just give this x direction and uh, you know just close all the directions here and the bottommost story will be our plinth level starting from the plinth level to the topmost level this will be our you know story range because it acts from the portion which is at the ground level to the topmost portion now there are uh, some things which you need to know so there is a response reduction factor there is a zone factor and uh, there is uh, there is the you know side type or the soil type and that there is the importance factor so how can we deduce that so let's see so first of all is the zone factor so as per code these are the zone factors and you can also user define so we'll open here is 1893 and uh, the area in which you design the building you can get it First of all, you can just open the last page of the code. You can see your city. If your city name is here or your nearby city name is here, suppose you are a, you are in a you know in Odisha, Bhubaneswar. So the, there is a zone three. And if you are any any area of northeast, that is Imphal, you can see zone five. And then uh, you know in Guwahati also you'll find zone five. So these are these zones are given along with the zone factors are also given. So the factor for zone five is uh, 0.36 so let me i am designing a building in zone 5 area so i'll take 0.36 before that i'll also show you the uh, you know map in which the zones are given so you have to remember that now currently after 2002 Bhuj earthquake after the modification there are only you know four zones which are available that is zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 and zone 5 so if you get asked in the interview how many zones are there there are only four seismic zones so as you can see the entire northeast is in zone 5 so we'll, we'll do here zone 5 here because i'm designing building in uh let's say tripura so the uh, remaining parts if you, of your city you can just uh, check out the zone and you can apply as per that and the zone uh, factor is also there but now as you can see for zone 5 the zone factor is 0.36 so we'll just take zone factor of 0.36 here for zone type so now the response reduction factor so we have to now look at the table for the response reduction factor and the importance factor so the response reduction factor tables so once you download this you can also you know make sure that you uh, you know just uh, highlight the table so that you can easily get them once you are done so this is the importance factor let's look at the importance factor first so as per the latest code, we have three important factors: 1.5, 1.2, and one. So residential buildings, uh, you know, if uh, generally residential buildings with apartment or more than 200 persons, is important factor of 1.2. This is the latest edition in 2016 code. And all the commercial buildings are 1.5. And normal residential buildings can be, you know, in, you know, one. So if you read the examples of 1.5, you can see fuel stations large community halls assembly halls subway uh, stations 
you know telephone exchange hospital building so these are the 1.5 and residential building or any building with more than 200 persons is 1.2 and all other buildings normal uh, you know house you can take the importance factor of 1 so you are taking importance factor of 1 here and then comes the soil type and the response reduction factor so we'll just see here uh, in the code what is the you know thing which you need to take for this as well so this is the uh, table four and uh, in this table four you can see there are three types of soil there is one two and three so one is for the rock uh, or hard soils and two is for the medium or steep soils and three for the soft soil so the, all these specifications are given generally uh, in normal conditions you have, have medium or soft soil so soil type is two and in this uh, particular uh, thing this site info site type we can just take two for the medium and then remains the response reduction factor so in this particular table also table three will also find this seismic zone factor table number nine as per the latest code we can find the response reduction factor so response reduction factor uh, you, you can just check what is the our building type so generally uh, the building type is rc moment resisting frame or rc buildings the ordinary moment resisting frame or uh, you know special moment resisting frame generally uh, rc buildings are of these two types you can uh, see uh, this notes one rc and uh, in a steel structures in zone uh, seismic zones three four and five you know three four and five shall be designed to be ductile and this this system is not allowed in these cases so what it is saying is that you know you know rc buildings with ordinary moment resisting frames so it is saying is it saying as c note one so and what note one specifies is that rc and steel buildings in spring zone three four and five are considered uh, designed to be ductile and the system is not allowed in this seismic zone so if you are designing a building in seismic zone of zone two uh, sorry zone three zone four and zone five you cannot consider omrf you have to consider smr so if you consider a response reduction factor of five but if you are designing a building for zone two you can consider omrf or your ordinary moment resisting frame and you can select three so right now we're going to go ahead and select your five so you're going to go here and select a response reduction factor of five and then click on OK. Similarly, we'll do this for the you know modify lateral load for the y direction. We'll just uh, again untick all these things and it will be it will be starting from the plinth level and the topmost level and response reduction factor will five, importance factor one, site type two, and the uh, you know zone factor for the zone 3 that is 0.36 we'll just click on ok and right now after you click on ok the seismic loads have been defined so like this we'll also define our wind load in the next video stay tuned and if you like our effort make sure you give the video a like and leave a heart in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye wherever you are stay safe and stay happy bye